What is up everyone and welcome to our course on an intro to Semantic UI. My name is Nemish and I'll be guiding you through these tutorials in which we'll learn about the popular framework Semantic UI and how to use it to create beautiful and appealing websites with ease. So in this course, we're going to first go into an intro into Semantic UI itself, discussing what is it and how we use it. And then we'll explore the Semantic UI website. Using the website to copy and paste elements is a massive part of Semantic UI, and especially in this course, so it's good that we get to learn how to use the website properly. Then we'll move to installing Semantic UI. Then we'll learn about how to properly structure our pages with the semantic UI grid. For those of you who have used Bootstrap before, you'll see semantic UI is similar to that, especially when it comes to the grid layout system. After this, we'll go into some individual semantic UI widgets and components. We'll show you how to examine them, select the options you want, choose them, and then copy and paste them into your code and customize them further. And then we'll wrap this, pro this section up with the final project. Now, I think that final project is going to take the majority of the time and we'll put everything that we've learned in these intro sections to the test. Now, for starters, what is Semantic UI? Well, Semantic UI is simply a front-end framework very similar to Bootstrap. If you guys have ever used Bootstrap before, this course should be a breeze. And I personally have found Semantic UI even more enjoyable to work with than Bootstrap. For those of you who have never used Bootstrap before, don't worry about it. Bootstrap is not necessarily a requirement here. We'll show you how to do things without it. Semantic UI is powered by LESS and jQuery. And this means that it's a free open source copy and paste framework. That means that everything on the website is open source. You can literally copy and paste the code and you're not going to face any repercussions. In fact, it's almost encouraged that you do so. And we can use Semantic UI to create web apps and websites with ease. So I mentioned that there's a front end framework. This applies to most of you who've never used Bootstrap before. A front end framework is simply a library that contains templates for HTML elements with CSS styling. So that means that let's say we were to select a button. Well, we don't just get that boring unformatted HTML button. That means the button that we select with a front end framework like Semantic UI will automatically have a bunch of styling already applied to it. This way, the items we choose already look really good before we personally do anything to add any CSS. Now, we use these front end frameworks to very quickly and easily develop appealing interfaces. They generally contain intuitive and easy to understand syntax, especially semantic UI, and sometimes they even provide some basic behavior as well. So why use semantic UI in particular? Well, Semantic UI makes developing web apps and websites easier and faster than if you were to do it from scratch. In fact, it can cut down the time by half, if not more. There's easy to understand syntax, and it's lightweight, yet very, very flexible. This means there are lots of different widgets and customizations to choose from, and you end up with these beautiful and modern design looking web pages. Again, the main emphasis on this is the fact that it makes things really, really fast and easy. We'll see that we can build up a really good looking web page in probably less than an hour, maybe like 40 minutes or so. Finally, how do we use Semantic UI? Well, I mentioned that it's a copy and paste framework. So this means we essentially search through the website until we find the elements we want. We can then choose from a variety of different element themes. The documentation is very um, clear and provides you a bunch of different options for each of the widgets and elements. We can then copy and paste the element with the themes we want into our code and we can customize a bit further with CSS. Okay, so that is it for our intro. What we'll do is we'll launch right into exploring the website. As like I said, a lot of this is going to be copy and paste and examining the elements we want. So let's get to know how to use our website properly. And that's going to be crucial for the rest of the course. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. I really enjoyed making this course and I love working with Semantic UI. It's a fantastic framework that, like I said, has made building web apps and websites so, so much easier. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for signing up. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial.